Hello, and welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest IX, Sentinels of the Starry Skies. And in this episode, I'll be continuing to complete some extra quests. So without further ado, it is time to start. So I'm going to be zooming on over to Zare, because there is someone apparently in the well down there that wants a quest doing for them. So let's go. called potty about pots as you can see look at this it's total rubbish the colors dull and lifeless and the shape well the less said the better it's all to pot who on earth made this piece of junk hmm ah quick inspection of the bottom reveals that it was uh, me drat but it's not my fault it's the clay I just haven't been able to get my hands on any good clay recently it's driving me potty hey you're a traveler eh? pottering about from place to place do you visit many grottos on your travels if you do could you bring me with somebody some of the earth for me to make good clay from. I'm Jared, by the way. I've heard some of those grottos are really deep, more than 12 levels deep, according to some puffalos. If I could get hold of some earth from below the 12th level of a grotto, I bet I could make some pretty impressive pots. You'll do it? I knew you had potential. Just take that dirt bag and complete a grotto that's more than 12 levels deep. So, any of the three I did yesterday, basically. Some grottos don't have dirt floors, so don't waste your time completing one that, that won't come up with the goods. So, it's just a basically a cave grotto with all the dirt uh, that has 12 or more. But anyway, now I'm going to go to the old, old school of swine dimples. So, let's go. Yeah. See, I don't, I don't hear this theme anymore when I go to an academy in a Dragon Quest game because I hear the Dragon Quest XI one. But never mind. Anyway, let's go. I don't think any of the books are interactive. But can't I just simply? Go, yep, go over to this way. Up here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. So now there's at least one. I think there's two, though, around here. I'm not sure. I'm guessing they're in the classroom. It would make sense. Where am I going? I don't know. Anyway, here we go. Break the pot. Antidotal herb. Fantastic. In we go. How dare you address a teeter without the proper preem ball? Do you even know the swine dimple salute? I believe I do. Here we go. Ah, I see you know the correct form of address. Very good. Ah, you're the bright spark I uh, met before, are you not? Well, well, you have come far. It is good to see that the pen and sword approach is still turning out such fine uh, specimens. Now, how would you like to do some extra curricular activities to uh, boost the profile of your dear old school? Could you go and show uh, Sir Sanguinus, who dwells in the grotto somewhere, some swine dimple spirit? There is just one uh, condition. Your entire party must be proudly sporting swine dimples blazers throughout the battle. You didn't think I would let you leave on the school business without your uniform, did you? So, will you make the school proud? Jolly good. Now go out there and show people that swine dimple students can bring peace and uh, safety to a troubled world. Finish up the extracurricular activities I have uh, assigned you and come straight back here. No dawdling, do you hear? So probably tomorrow I'll try and get to a Traumanator one or a Susanguinous one. And once I've done that, on Wednesday's one, I'll probably try and go for the other. 
Swords, spears, wands, whips, staves, claws, fans, shields, first, fists, axes, hammers, boomerangs, bows and arrows. Daggers, none is as deadly as... Hmm, and who, may I ask, are you? A student here? And do you want to learn uh, what I have to teach? No, that is a rarity. I'm Vina, and as you might have guessed, I'm a teacher here at Swine Dimples. Hmm, you seem to have developed your poison needle skills a little. You're quite the swat, aren't you? Being a swat, I expect you'd like some homework, eh? Fancy earning some extra credit with your poison needle teacher? All you have to do is defeat a master Musifer with a regular attack from a poison needle. But you can't just take it out with any old uh, any old how. I want you to try and beat it by inflicting a single point of damage. I'm sure a SWAT like you won't be able to resist a challenge like this. I take it you'll do it. Well, that's going to be annoying. I mean, I need to find a master move, Musa for first. I don't know where to find a master Musa for. But, you know. Got to defeat it by inflicting just one damage. Do you know how ridiculous that is? Now, why am I doing this? I can just leave. You know, the problem is I've, I've, I've just got quite a lot that are to do with grottos, which is very annoying. Um, I don't really want too many grotto ones, to be honest. Um, so let me just quickly evac. Let's have a look at quests to make. So... I've got five, I've got a room, oh no, hang on, no I haven't. So I need to try and do the, uh, do a grotto with 12 or more levels that is a dirt one or a cave one or a mine one, whatever you want to call it. Look at that. I've got six legacy maps at the moment. Anyway, let's go for Copper Lair of Dread. Pretty sure that is a 12th floor or more. It isn't a mine, is it? No, it is a cave. Nice. So looks like I'll be going in grottos much more often than I think, which is fine, I guess, but, you know, just getting too many grotto-related side quests is just not good. I mean, I don't know where a Master Musifer is. I don't know where the uh, bird is for the Who's a Pretty Boy quest. There's so many, I just don't know where to go, which is unfortunate, but, you know. I kind of should have healed up MP, but never mind. It does not matter one bit. Bum, 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 bum. So, of course, as I said, to, to make sure I don't waste time trying to go for certain um, thingy bobbity boobity bobbity, I will be just literally making my way quickly to. Um, a grotto boss off video and I said as soon as I make it there I'll save state and then I can start an upcoming video at that boss obviously so far I've got Sir Sanguinous and Traumanator to go after I don't remember exactly what um, ones I got them in because I don't remember but of course I'll just have to have a look anyway I'll reset come up here grab that file of aggressance lovely should probably reapply the vanish as well. And it's a terror troll. That is a king crab. That's a Moa minstrel. Off we go. Lovely jubbly. 
God damn it, I couldn't avoid that. Good, he's too stunned to move. What big pink eyes you've got. He's got very stinky pinky eyes, I will admit, anyway. Mimic? Nope. I always fear the worst. No, you don't, King Crab. No, you don't, Prison Peacock. Like he doesn't even feel that I just opened up a chest that he was literally right next to. Anyway, four more floors before I know for certain this is um, the right place to go to. I did not want to run into that slug slot, but never mind. Let's just kill. Dun 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 dun. And down he goes. Dun 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 dun. dun. I'll chance it without using this for now, but if I get blocked off by an enemy, I'll have to spray to vanish. Never mind, it was a mimic. I was waiting for this bitch to come back, to be honest. So yeah, it does look like I won't be able to do all side quests, as I said, um, because I will need to um, do specific... Basically find specific enemies, which will be very annoying. I mean, I've got loads of grottos I could do that range between like, level 50 to 80. Um, for obviously when I do challenges like this where I just have to complete a grotto, I just get an extra grotto map. I mean, I could do them, but I don't know where to find stuff. But I mean, I could search online, like, the type of grottos you find in Master Musifer. That bird one. I forgot some of the other ones. I mean, it is kind of unfair, the fact that some you can't easily find. And there's, like, no way to know where you get them. Because obviously I need them for quests, but I don't know where I'm supposed to possibly look, which is a bit unfair, but it's the way it is. I mean, if there, if it does get to a point where there's only literally like five or six quests that I can't do, then I'll just have to, I'll just have to bite the bullet and just be like, well, I've got all the others done. It's not humanly possible for me to do the other ones without wasting too much time because I don't. You know, I don't know the level range, because certain enemies will only come in certain level range grottos. But, I mean, as you can see, like, in these cave ones, you always get the same stuff. So you get the rare ones like Stay or Whale. In the water ones, you get, like, um... You, well, you get all different sorts of ones, but it's just extremely difficult. But now I've got Fanish, it should make it slightly easier. And, um... Well, in terms of navigation, of course, I just need to try and find where I could possibly get some of the enemies, because I would like to find them. Because I would like to get the quest done. Because, I mean, it's like, obviously, Cumulus Hex I already found. But, I mean, as I said, it's like Ice Dungeons I don't have much of. Um... Don't really have many water, but I think I've got all the ones for the water ones. So it's like, it's ice and volcano that needs more. Because volcano, I feel like I'm still lacking a bit on some of the enemies in those type of grottos. So I need to just try and get an ice one and see if I get anything new from the icy stuff. And just try and get it done, but, you know... And obviously, the moment I find a uh, find a grotto with like an enemy I'm looking for, I'll just have to try and note it down. So if I'm, you know, at college, well, going to college or going back to college, I'll just have to remember and then like write it down because I'm gonna have to start taking notes 
if I do end up finding some of those extra enemies. Um, because I don't want to um, mess it up. And I'd like to show it off, you know. Disruptive wave, of course. Why not? Alright, let's try that again. This time without the disruptive wave. I found out yesterday that disruptive wave has made an appearance in Dragon Quest XI and I was like, I would have preferred without it, but you know, never mind. Why go for Jasmine? She's a tank. There's no point. She is a literal tank. She is not, she is not human anymore. She is a humanoid. She's that powerful. Just watch her go. Sit down. Boom. Dun, dun, dun. One more level and he's fully up and I'm not going to do any more with that. And there we go. Anyway, um, I think, yeah, to find an easy Sir Sanguinous one, what I can do... Um, it's basically go and look at the treasure you get from Sir Sanguinous. So defeated monster list. So he drops crimson boots and sacred armor, and the Traumanator drops a Prozac. So Prozac and sacred armor. So this is how I can try and distinguish the difference. So um. See, like, Chopper Toga will be, um, Atlas. So what's that? Sacred Armour. That's one, one, that's one I want, right? <sighs> Go away. I'm busy. Anyway, yeah, Sacred Armour. That is it, right? That's what I want. Yeah, Sacred Armour and of course Prozax as well. But anyway. So if I look at this treasure map, it's definitely Sacred Armour, right? Yep. Let's try and look for an earlier one with the Sacred Armour. Well, there's the Prozax. So there's Traumanator. There's Traumanator. And that's the earliest, I'm definitely sure that that is Sir Sanguinous. So we'll give that a go. So of course I need to equip them all with Swine Dimples Plazers, so I'll be back in a minute. Right, so we're back, so I'm going to just very quickly like, heal up or something at Stonway. And then get on with that. And then once I've done this, um, I can go do the other one. So yeah, I don't have to do it the way I was planning to. I can do it this way and get these two done. Of course, it sh I don't think it'd be too long. Each grotto as well. I mean, it shouldn't be because it isn't above the level 50 range. So it'll probably be about, hopefully between 8 to 10 floors. So nothing ridiculous. But look at how smart they look. In their blazers. Whoosh, whisk away. And we got another mine, ladies and gentlemen. So this is back to the kind of weak enemies. Depends how you look at it. So this 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 quest is a bit silly because I've got to do it in the Swine Dimples Blazer, but it's not really that bad, is it? Really? Anyway, I don't think I have to waste time with Vanish because I don't think you get any really nasty monsters in here. I mean, I don't remember. It's been like ages. It's probably been over a month now. I've probably been do I've been doing these since like Easter. 
because I defeated Corvus the, the Saturday, which was the day before Easter Sunday. So just, just let that sink in of how long I've been doing this for. That is ridiculous. Hello Claws, how do you do? Just gonna zoom straight past you. I'm here for Sir Sanguinus to be honest. I'm also here to take on these claws, they came back for me, but they're too stunned to move, so I'm just going to, you know, run. Clearly they were only just popping out of the ground, so I, you know, stomped on them and paralysed them temporarily. Which makes sense, I guess. And if you've noticed as well, the majority of the floors aren't as long, or they're more basic to go around. So you've, you've got much higher chance of actually discovering the, chip, the stairs... Uh, easier than some, well, than most of the floors in like the higher level grottos, but obviously they're designed to be like that. Obviously, longer and much more difficult. Obviously, these are just still like main game enemies, and obviously, Dragon Quest post games have uh, very gnarly enemies. Anyway, whoa! I tried to stop myself, but it didn't work. Anyway, down you go. There we go. Yeah, I think I have to troll it with bare hands, which will be annoying, but of course we're not there yet. Rim Jamboree. It's like the earliest you get them. I press left. You saw me press left. Never mind. Anyway. Can you stop lagging, please? I appreciate it. go oh hello yeah I don't, I don't know it just seems fishy doing it in inflicting one damage it's just not gonna happen anyway so this should required literally everybody with the blazers on yeah this should, this should should be all that's needed Yes, we know your body's the colour of blood and you want to kill everybody so you can see their blood spill out. Lovely. Now I'm going to do the talking. Die. But the thing is, I won't be able to do abilities like this with my 50 cuff. Jasmine will still be able to pull off beautiful damage. But other than that... I'll have to read the rules on it because it could be a bit stinky. I'm not sure though, but you know. Like, he doesn't have much attack power anymore, the Susanguinus, but I feel like Traumanator will still be annoying regardless. Just because it is Traumanator, but you know. It's fine, it didn't, inf it didn't evoke anything anyway. Resistance to spells increases, it's a bit too late for that, mate. You're already about to die. I mean, Kafrizzle is a bit of a dirty spell, though, I will admit. Instead of shooting like an upwards Inferno, in Dragon Quest XI it shoots out like a massive ball. And just, like, explodes and expands out. It's pretty cool. Yeah, you do that, mate. Aren't you special? I need to stop doing that. I did not mean to do that, but he's nearly dead anyway, or at least he should be. Really? When did he become tanky all of a sudden? I was going to say, he had to be dead. Anyway. Yep, yep. 
Or wearing a swan dimples blazer. Yep, yep, yep. So yeah, there's another treasure map free there. Right, so I'll be back when I've sorted out the next grotto. Right, so um, I'm here at the location of the Traumanator Grotto, so I'm <clears throat> going to be checking exactly what the quest says. So, of course I've just done that one, and I've done that one, but the battle buff tells you to go to a grotto and finish off the Traumanator with nothing equipped whatsoever. Nothing equipped. Absolutely nothing. That's not good. But I'll have to do it. So let's go. So of course I'm going to have everything equipped for now. And then I want to equip when it gets to it. The good old generic grotto. With the bloody mine. And then it got to the point where... I've done I've done these grottos to death because I think I don't think there's any more possible enemies to get in these type of grottos. Um, I think most of the um, like grotto exclusive enemies I've got left to get, I said they have to be in the ice and volcano ones. Like there's n there's no other way about it. But anyway, gotta go through here, unequip, and then boom. <coughs> Hello, killing machine. How do you do? Can you please move? Cheers. Canny box? No, it's a mimic. <clears throat> I underestimated it, but it does not matter because it's going to die anyway. Because Phantom's a beast, clearly. So, I mean, will Aiden and Spike, or will Aiden be able to cast magic without a staff? I'm guessing so, it's just, like, magical might won't be as good. Should... Still be able to do it because Spike don't need a st a stave to uh, cast magic. She can use her spears, so you know I don't know. And prepare to die. Or Aiden, you can just not go. Thank you. I've got to be nearly there, though. I've got to be nearly there. Oh, yep. I've kind of run into that one, but it don't matter. Because at the end of the day, they're dead. And at the end of the night, when the lights go out, will we turn down? Oh, no, we won't. We ain't never turning them. We ain't never turning them. I'll stop. But anyway. Nearly there. Skillful dodges there. Oh no. This 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 floor's gigantic. Yeah, these grottos you always get gigantic floors and there's just no need for it. <clears throat> but never mind. Bloody hell, Aiden. You're you got a bit of a temperature. <clears throat> Let's go. Eskimo. So it could be down. It is not. So let's go up. Going up on a Sunday. Come on. Be over, please. I can't be asked to wait any longer. And it's a hexagoon. Octagoon, sorry. I 
could have used Click Crackle, but I forgot. I don't mind. <coughs> Oh, you could have done that earlier. Because that's one shot range with like practically anything. Anyway, come on. Thank you. Here we go. Oh, this is going to be fun, isn't it? Doing now. Sheesh. Oh dear. How sad to see this all go. Let's go. Well, first, of course, I want to use multi heal just in case. I mean, I don't know the exact rules. Well, I don't know if you're allowed to use magic. I mean, you just have to get the final blow. Well, nothing's equipped. I mean, this should be fine. See, look at this. I can't. Can't do anything. See a multi fists, of course. Good idea, no, it's showtime. Hell yeah. Oh dear, the weird whirlwind swirls towards the Traumanator. Now we increase Jasmine's attack by a lot. She's going to be the MVP here. Go for good old Disco Stew again. We'll go for the Multi Fist again, it's showtime! Boom. Slash. Punch, 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 punch. I mean, I'll go for the multi heal, that's fine, I guess. Kefri one Kefrizzle, and then I'll leave the rest up to the multi fists. That's like the first coup de gras I've seen in like months. Now I feel like I'll be able to get another cuff frizzle in. You know what I mean? Punch, 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 punch. But I'm not going to risk it. I'll rather leave her to get like 600 odd damage in each turn. That's it, waste your turn. I did not save for crackle, did I? Jesus. As I said, I don't know how strict that the rules are. That's the only problem. So I don't know if magic is allowed or anything. I'll just have to hope the way I've done it is fine. We will see, won't we? Yeah, good. It counts. Still Crypt of Gloom. Right, so now I'm going to re-equip everything and I'll be back. 
that's why I'm here with everybody's new looks so this is all the lovely 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 stuff I have got for everybody it is looking beautiful and most people have got stuff that like top rarity now you know it's gonna happen I guess but yes I now need to have a look and remind myself where all the quests are to be handed in so old school heights of loneliness and there so I'll go there first then the heights of loneliness and then the old school we're going old school Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, that took a few minutes to sort out, but you know. Let's see your back to Coleman then. Let's see it. Let's see you love the lovely earth. Mmm, the smell, the colour. This is just the earth I wanted. In fact, it's even better than I'd hoped for. Can't thank you enough for this here. Take this as a small token of our appreciation. Hella's hammer. Don't really care about that. And I thought, oh, I know, well, I know Hella is Thor's sister. Or half sister, or whatever it is in mythology, but she's supposed to be the goddess of death. She doesn't use a hammer, does she? I don't. I don't remember. But anyway, so we'll go Xerox, and then we're going to Evac. Then we're going to turn left, and we're going to talk to you. Yeah, la. So uh, you saw to do that. Traumanate a monster with no equipment, eh? That's pretty impressive. You deserve a prize for that. You do. Go on, have it. More to more. Okay, then. Hey, but then go get in all high and mighty now. The world's a big old place. So listen, okay? Because this is gold dust, right? If you want to be an hard fighter, you got to get stuck into your training, okay? And that means getting stuck into your scoff too. Breakfast, lunch and dinner, right? Don't forget to get a good night's sleep, eh? When you're ready for more training, you come knocking, all right? I ain't got to be anywhere else. Let's see if you do want anything else. Or if it's just a crappy Traumanator one again. I'm not doing it again. I like how you can do some of them again, but... I mean, what, as I said, what else will you get from a mother than the treasure maps? I don't know. Anyway, let's go to the old school. That's what I could do. I guess one more quest once I've done this, depending on what, where I go to and where it ends up being. But of course... I just need to try and um, find out the location of um, those bandits in for has Selma sold out, but I can I can try and find it, but I can't promise anything. But you see, I don't know if it's just in a set location but they're supposed to apparently move around in the wells but there's so many different wells in the world map it's ridiculous but anyway yeah, the dungeon isn't the biggest which is good for getting through it and of course the guardian is in the way get out of here What are we going to get from him? Let's have a look. How dare you address the teacher? Oh, yeah, of course. Thought about that. There we go. Excellent, excellent. It appears you have successfully defeated Sir ah, Sanguinus. You are a credit to the Academy. Let me present you with this uh, reward for exceptional devotion to the uh, promotion of the reputation of our beloved swine dimples. Oh, lovely. Now listen here, there is still peril in the depths of the grottos. I ask that you go out and make the academy proud by bringing the world even closer to peace. Should you wish to be assigned some more extracurricular activities, just come and visit me, I shall be awaiting your return. Is it going to be the same crap though? Yes, it will be, so I don't care. Anyway, how many 
quests have I got left? So, I've got the 15 here. And three here, so I've only got 18 of these ones left, actually. So, if we go to the higher plateau to the southeast of the bow hole, well, we know uh, where that is. I went there for a few. Well, I've been there for the Runny Bunny quest, if that is the right plateau, or if I'm getting a bit mix mixed up. But, you know, I can at least have a look at what the quest asks me to do, and if it is reasonable in terms of time, I'll try and get it done today. If not, then I'll do it tomorrow. But, of course, as I said, I'll try and do the Selma Sold Out one as well. But, anyway. What is different down here now, though? You still got a headache, have you? Even though I gave it to you, but never mind. <laughs> yep, definitely not the uh, person I'm supposed to be going to. So there's someone else here now, apparently. Oh, there's something now, I see. Oh, it's you, how you been? There's something I wanted to ask you, actually. You got some Hexite for old Cephalganon not so long ago, didn't you? Yeah, I thought so. Well, I'm Fixer, by the way. I'm Cephalganon's and my princess, sort of. Anyway, if you've got what it takes to get hold of Hexite, you might be able to help me out with something, too. I can't tell you why, but I really, really need to get my hands on a lucky pendant. You're the only one who can help, please. Can you get me one from somewhere? Go on, say you will. You will? Brilliant, thanks, your life saver. Uh, I don't mean to be pushy or anything, but I can't need it really soon. I'm counting on you, okay? I've already got a lucky pendant. I feel like I have. Hey, that's a lucky pendant, right? Brilliant, hand it over then. You've probably noticed too, haven't you, that Svalconon's not a grand wizard, I mean, well, not even a wizard at all. But his dad was, you see, so he just grew up in that kind of environment and never really questioned it. The thought that he might not have the gift... Never even crossed his mind, even though he couldn't conjure his way out of a paper bag. So it's my job to help keep things along. You know, keep the illusion alive, if you will. Which is why I have the lucky pendant. It's for a customer who wished for one. Pretend it appeared by magic, alright? I know it's a hassle, but you're not getting any credit. But just think how I feel here. Maybe this will sweeten the deal a bit. Crown of clarity. Maybe you can help me with some more of Sir Falconon's magic in future, eh? I'll make it worth your while. So it looks like... Quite a lot of these type of quests are repeatable, um, just to allow you to get like the big items on uh, multiple occasions, but I'm not really bothered anyway. 150 quests completed! That leaves 34! Someone on the high plateau to the west of Batsareg that needs help. I can at least get get this quest ready. So the west of Batsareg. The fact that I've only got 34 quests left though is actually amazing. But anyway. The high plateau. West of Batsareg. Sorry, what? Ah. This will be the Han. Ondor Cliffs. No? It's book called a hat for all seasons. Oh no. I've already got all that stuff. That's like the spring breeze hat, all that stuff. Right, so there's nothing here. So it must be, hang on. I noticed that over there. Can't fool me. Nearly forgot about that. It's gotta be something in here, right? Yep. Guten Tag, I am the world famous Dr. Monster, and I am compiling here a report of the Monster Kingdom. You are perhaps not aware of my work, but my report is collecting together the entirety of the world's knowledge of beasts. I am currently investigating the smallest number of turns in which the elusive elucid can be defeated. Do you hunger for knowledge? Do you wish further the cause of science? Will you defeat the elusive as quickly as possible for me? You've undertake the experiment, Veligut. 
You are performing an invaluable service to the world of scientific investigation. The elusive elusiveness is not exaggerated. That it resides in a grotto somewhere? I know, but as a witch grotto, that is ein mystery. You must discover this for yourself. I will await your return with the scientific data. So have to kill him as quick as possible. Rightio. Does this Drac want anything now, though? It's Dracky, Dracky, Backy, Backy. Nope. Doesn't want anything. Doesn't look like. Anyway. That marks the end of this episode of my playthrough of Dragon Quest Nine: Sentinels of the Starry Skies. So, thank you for watching this episode of my set of... Well, for, yeah, thank you for watching this episode of my playthrough of Dragon Quest Nine. And in the next episode, I will try and find out where on earth I need to go for the Hasselma sold out quest and whether it is just random or whether it is in a set place and once i've done that i'll probably make my way over to the elucid to try and take out elucid in as quick a time and turn as possible and as i said thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next episode